So I don't want to party anymore. If it is that my friend wants to party, it's fine. But don't try to make me feel bad because I've decided that this is not something that I want to do anymore. <laughs> welcome 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 back so i promise that i was going to be more consistent and this is me second video behind the other i promise one per week and so i'm trying <laughs> so you know that right here is where there are no limits right from we perceive it we can achieve it it's in the no limits and right here too is where you come to be entertained educated and inspired so welcome 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 back if you are here for the first time then welcome and if you have been coming with me from way back when then welcome back and thank you for being here now today i am going to be touching on a point that i know some of us may be going through you know in our lives and it is friendship it is friendship how do you know when it is time to just cut this friendship in two and separate how do we know now it is not easy to let go of a friendship right we all know that especially if it is something that has been happening for years it is not easy to let go of a friendship and for different reasons persons can end their friendship or can no longer be friends it could be that they are no longer living in the same proximity you know they are far away from each other it could also be that we have outgrown each other, you know. It could also be that persons have matured. You know, this friendship, it has been coming from basic school days. There are different things that we're thinking about, different things that we're doing. So persons have matured, you know. Whatever reason it is, when friendship ends, at times, it is, it is very sad. But you need to ask yourself, when a friendship is broken, is it something that you really want to salvage? Is it okay to salvage it if we are no longer compatible? So I'm going to be giving you 10 signs that it is time to end a friendship. And I am by no means trained in this area. I am not a life coach. I am not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, nothing like that. I am just giving you my points based on life that I have lived and things that I've seen. All right? So, number one, there is constant negativity. And I'm checking on my device here. So, the friend consistently brings negative energy into your space. And when you have been around this friend, it is just negative. It is just negative. And when you leave, you feel drained. You feel stressed. It's time to just cut that off. It's time to just cut that off. Because when you're around your friend, your genuine friend, it should be one of your happiest moments. You know, you're talking, you're having fun, you're enjoying. So you should just cut that off. If when you are around this friend you feel drained and stressed there's lack of support they are unsupportive of you and they don't celebrate with you when you have achieved when you have accomplished so there's this lack of support there's no encouragement there's no empathy you know something happens and you need a shoulder to cry on and where's your friend where is your friend time to go number three it is a one-sided effect so you are the one pushing this friendship you are the one making the plans you're the one making the phone calls you're the one trying to keep this friendship going and if it is that you stop 
and just relax you will not hear from this friend you will not see this friend you will not meet up it's time to go because it cannot be one-sided it must be reciprocated we want to be around each other we want to see each other we want to hang out we want to talk you know so if if one person is doing all the work one-sided effect it's time to go four and this one has happened to me so many times betrayal of trust and that is why i keep my circle ever so small because i am afraid because you have a friend and you you tell this person your inner thoughts you tell this person things that are happening with you and you expect this person to be your confidant you expect this person to be your go-to you expect this person to ride or die for you and this person is just out there telling every and anybody about what's happening with you you know it's time to go you cannot trust this person they go around and they gossip they lie you know they are sharing your personal information with somebody else it's time to go and number five there is this toxic competition you don't know why but your friend is in competition with you for whatever reason so the friendship feels like it is a big competition and because I went and did this you have to go and do it too or you have to try and outdo me now nothing is wrong with your friend inspiring you to do something but when you want to outdo me and you want to play down what it is that I have done and you want to push it aside as if it is nothing and we are going so far what 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 is it about it is not all that but you are going to try to do the same thing to try to outdo me it's time to go rather than celebrate your accomplishments with you they are trying to outdo you number six manipulative behavior so they manipulate you for their own benefit they emotionally blackmail you or make you feel guilty for setting boundaries so i don't want to party anymore if it is that my friend wants to party it's fine but don't try to make me feel bad because i've decided that this is not something that i want to do anymore and don't come saying I'm acting as if I am better than. Because I have decided that I'm going to quit smoking. Not literally. <laughs> I'm going to quit smoking. Because I'm have i not a smoker. I'm just using an example. And you decide that, oh, this is still something that you want to do. And I'm saying to you, don't take this into my space. And you insist that you're going to come and you're going to do that around your friend. And try to make them feel bad when they talk about not wanting to do this anymore. It's time to go. There is blatant disrespect. So there is blatant disrespect. They show disrespect towards you, what you are going through. They try to undervalue you, insult you, all of that. When there is disagreements, when there are disagreements, disrespect comes out and my mother always tells me that when a person is upset listen to how they talk so if when your friend is upset your friend is being very disrespectful towards you and say some things it they are getting things off their chest it's what is really there so it's time to let that go number eight growing apart you have grown in different directions you no longer share the same values interests or goals and because of that it makes it very hard for you to relate to each other as i said in the beginning you have matured you know you have moved on from certain things your friend has moved on from certain things and so we are not as close as we used to be because we can't find that common ground yeah number nine there is unhealthy drama it goes back to being disrespectful and the friendship is filled with constant drama creating emotional turbulence without any resolution or growth you know um there there's just always something there's just always something and as was mentioned before, you leave the space feeling stressed, 
feeling drained it's time to go and 10 you just feel unhappy so you feel unhappy you feel anxious and you just feel negative you know this friendship is not building you anymore you're, you're, you don't see what you're getting from it you don't enjoy being around this person anymore feeling unhappy these are signs that it's time to cut it off so let's go through them again the constant negativity lack of support one-sided effort betrayal of trust toxic competition manipulative behavior disrespect growing apart unhealthy drama and feeling unhappy if all of these or one two three four you are feeling these within your friendship then maybe it's just time to give it up you know some persons come into our lives for a season and sometimes we need to understand that the season with this person has passed and we need to put ourselves first and not think about the well-being of others and the peace of mind of others without thinking about our peace of mind you know so you are feeling all of these things no matter what your friend is going to say you have to sit and have a conversation and decide that we are not enemies and it's not that we won't talk anymore you know but the friendship that we used to have we can't have it anymore sometimes we just have to come to that realization a while ago my mind went so far i don't know if you saw it but i was just remembering a host of things so is your friendship worth salvaging or should you just let it go think about what i've said and as usual let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching she drew closer to me and said to me yeah wish this night was forever